Over the last few years, artificial intelligence has constantly been in the news. The early research of artificial intelligence paved the way for the automation and formal reasoning that we see today in computers, including decision support systems, and smart search systems that can be designed to complement and increase human abilities. But how do you feel about computers being able to predict your actions? As technology improves and AI becomes more advanced, it started to replace many of our own day-to-day -day tasks. For example, we're now able to ask Alexa to play our songs. This software understands our personal needs then find out what we asked it specifically. Siri can Google things on our phones and cars are able to drive themselves. As artificial intelligence becomes more developed, it started taking over many of our jobs as well. This was one of the indirect goals of a recent algorithm developed at the University of Bonn in Germany. Professor Gohl and his colleagues aim to improve the ability of computers to predict the next action the person will make. Many jobs rely on humans to predict what the next step in a sequence will be, and anticipate their co-worker's next move. For example, a nurse has to anticipate a doctor's next move, so it may come a point in the near future when we see this technology in the surgery. Another job that could use this technology could be the police force. A police officer always has to be on their toes. At this current moment, this is an era of artificial intelligence that is currently undeveloped. At this moment in time, if we need to remember to do something, we either have to do it ourselves, or remember to tell our smartphones to remind us. However, with the future development of this technology, it will be able to predict what we need and when we need it. At the university, researchers have started working on software that can learn over time. To train their software, the computer simulated four hours of salad making videos. This allowed it to predict how long each step lasts. This allows it to predict what it will need in the future. Dr. Gala said the following. Accuracy was over 40% for short forecast periods, but then dropped the more the algorithm had to look into the future. For activities that were more than three minutes in the future, the computer was still right in 15% of cases. However, the prognosis was only considered correct if both the activity and its timing were correctly predicted. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.